today's topic is all about how expansion valve works and in case of emergency what to do if you don't have extra expansion valve you do it manually okay let's start now we need to open this expansion valve defective expansion valve this defective expansion valve is the refrigerant on the sensing valve is exposed that's why this is defective when we push the spindle valve spindle that's a spring okay even though the refrigerant is exposed as you, you can see there is a example it's like a diaphragm going to the sensing valve that is, is sealed that pushes the spindle we try to push the spindle and then there is a spring on the spindle okay when you lift that spindle automatically go back to its position this is at the top at the top there is a cone like diaphragm that is sealed and closed loop filled with the refrigerant in case of emergency you put a hole and then put a bolt on the top we need to add this adjustment is for the spring of the spindle adjustment for the superheat okay. in case of emergency cut that one and then put a hole and then put a bolt so that that spindle pushes the valve to open okay. that is the spindle there is a pin it's like pin. it's like a pin that pushes this valve At the valve for then they called no cell that no cell has a filter this is a valve that that the uh, that the spindle push this valve so that it will open. Okay, that is the valve open. That is the spindle. It's, a, it's like a pin that pushes that valve where the nozzle is attached. Also, at the nozzle there is a filter. The filter sometimes that is the problem that catches dirt and then it clogs, clogged up, clog up. You need to clean that one and then the expansion valve is that one the filter you need to clean it sometimes that is only the problem it's a dirty filter okay this is the adjustment this is the old one but but this is working see when I push it, there is a distance that when I push that is opening the valve that spindle when when we try to push it there is a spring but the adjustment is already full at the count uh, clockwise at the clockwise adjustment this, <coughs> as you notice the spindle is lift up In case of emergency you cut this one you cut after cutting the the top part I show you first this adjustment.
the top part that is the spindle and then if that case this this valve need to pushes pushes that one so that it will open I said before that there is a, a pin like that pushes this nozzle with bulb to open okay okay that is the inlet and then the other side is the outlet when you push that one when tighten the spindle is lift up and open and open that's why we need to make a hole at the top in case of emergency you see the spindle is lift lift up it means it cannot open the nozzle with the valve on it In this case we need to put a hole and then put a put a thread and then put a bolt on it so that manually adjusted you can manually adjust you see if this is fully fully rotate at the clockwise position the spindle is lift up it means the spring is tightened or increase the pressure uh, tension and then that diaphragm uh, the, uh, it's like a diaphragm that filled with a refrigerant that is the one who pushes the spindle right now the refrigerant is a uh, example the refrigerant is exposed you need to cut that one the sensing bulb and it need to put a hole with a bolt so that this spindle you can push manually okay so that that valve will open when you put a bolt on the top top part this is only the component of the expansion bulb sensing bulb when it boiled off the it will push the spindle to open that valve with nozzle okay that is only the component then i open this sensing valve so that we see what inside what is the structure inside there is no it's empty this is filled with a refrigerant that this is the sensing bulb that I said earlier filled with refrigerant when it's boiled off it pushes the spindle to open the bulb with nozzle that's it see okay that's it this is the old but it is working see there is a counter pressure at the top side that is the refrigerant and then when you push this one it will open easily see the small distance it will open because the refrigerant at the sensing valve commands the valve that needs to open this is the table for adjustment of expansion valve but to understand uh, about the expansion bulb when the sensing bulb sends a high temperature the expansion bulb starts to open or more and vice versa if the sensing bulb is 
sense a colder temperature it starts to closing the expansion valve if you learn from this video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates also follow us on facebook barco tv thanks for watching